We've known climate change is happening and causing harm to our state and our planet. But the latest research suggests it might be happening even faster than scientists predicted. The cause is fossil fuels. The answer is to reduce fossil fuels. We use a lot of fossil fuel to power our vehicles, schools, homes, and offices. Burning fossil fuels causes climate change and creates pollution that makes people sick. That's why Washington is taking action to reduce climate pollution. These actions include the Clean Energy Transformation Act, which requires 100% clean energy by 2045, a nation-leading clean buildings policy, clean transportation policies to promote clean fuels and zero emission vehicles, and a landmark policy known as the Climate Commitment Act. The Climate Commitment Act is working to drive down emissions from the biggest polluters, make them pay their fair share, help reduce pollution, and protect our families and communities. The CCA covers 75% of statewide emissions. The policy requires the state's biggest polluters to participate in the CCA's cap and invest program. They can reduce how much they pollute by changing the way they operate, or they can purchase pollution allowances. Over time, as the cap on pollution comes down, fewer allowances are available for purchase. The revenue from the pollution allowances is being reinvested in projects and programs that help families, businesses, and local governments switch from fossil fuels to cleaner energy and to help Washington communities deal with the effects of climate change. Examples include quiet and clean electric school buses for our children, thousands more EV charging stations, free transit for all young people, safer sidewalks and trails for people to walk and bike, cost-saving weatherization, and more. The CCA will benefit everyone in Washington state. It will reduce pollution, protect our communities from climate impacts, and create jobs in the clean energy economy. The policy puts a special emphasis on ensuring benefits for vulnerable communities that have to shoulder the greatest burden, including seniors, tribes, families, and neighborhoods with lower incomes or people with challenging health conditions. We can build a clean energy future for Washington State. It's time to act.